three for the price of one. We have an MB Electronics Pocket Simon, a PMSL, I mean PMS, Sudoku Challenge, and one of those little arcade machine jobbies. These were bought from eBay in a job lot for, I think it was £8, but I can't remember. I've already looked at one of these in a previous video that's there. Let's start here. Nice. Straight away, I think I know what the problem is with this, because these switches here don't appear to be doing a lot. They're sliding along and not sort of clicking into place. Um, and sounds like there's something rattling around inside. Looking at the batteries, I think it takes two double A's, and I think that's got to be a 9 volt battery, but, I mean, does it need 12 volts, really? Maybe it's either or, but I'll put both in. Seamless. Never mind. Okay. I mean, I know it's not going to work. I don't know why I did that, but, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Start... Nope. So let's take it apart and let's see if, if it's just these switches. I think it might be. This is pretty cool. I guess that's a spare bulb that sort of sits there. That's a really clever idea. And... In here, look at this. Oh, there's two. Right, well, I'm guessing that's well, for the switches, isn't it? What do I do? Yeah, there's no contacts on those switches, so they're not going to do anything. Okay. Oh, should there be another one, though? Oh, there it is. <laughs> As if by magic. Where did that come from? Yeah, because it looks like we've got two on this one and one on this one, doesn't it? So they... Yeah, that would make sense. I can see the lines actually on it. You can see where it has been rubbing, so... They should be there. And that one should be there. Is it going to be as simple as that? Let's find out. Ha! That's better. All right, there we go. Is it going to work? Start. Oh yes! Oh, what? Stupid game. Let's move on to something else. Sudoku Challenger! Alright, let's pop some batteries in this one. Oh. March 2018. Right. Oh, I think I know what the problem is going to be with this one, then. Great. It's, uh, Rust Central. If I can just take those out, I don't even need to take this apart. I don't... Oh, I should do. See if any of the corrosion has gone any further. That's come off. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gone any further because the circuitry is underneath, isn't it? So I think that is probably going to be fine. I think it's just this. So I might as well take these off. Oh, that, that one's on there pretty well. Let's disconnect the speaker while we're here. I'm just going to mark these so no. I don't think it really matters which way around they go, but I'm just going to put a little mark on the board there next to the... The one with the Sharpie on. Alright, let's have a look at this. I think they're going to be difficult to uh, clean up. I think I might have to replace them if I can. I 
I bought a few packs of replacement battery terminals, so I'm hoping that one of these is going to fit. That's quite similar, it's a bit bigger. And it's slightly too big, so I'm going to have to cut that down. clean this up first and then I'm gonna pop that one in now I need to make another one for the mm, for the positive side here I'm just obviously don't want the spring on it Would that work I could put a blob of solder in there couldn't I that might be a good idea isopropyl alcohol Think that might be good. Right, let's give this a clean and then we'll put those in and solder the wires back on. play this. I don't have the patience for this. Stupid game. Well the good news is it works. But it's stupid. Let's move on to something else. Right let's have a look at this. Let's get some batteries. I don't think this is the same as the other one that I worked on. It's not. It doesn't have a battery built into it. This was the one I did previously and it's well, it's almost identical, other than this has got a charging port on the back. And it's slightly different size as well. But it does look very similar, doesn't it? So? Yeah, I'm just going to have to put some batteries in this and just see what it does. I don't really want to open this because I had to heat this up and I managed to stick it down quite expertly. And you can barely tell I've been in it. So I'll try and do the same on this one if I, if I do have to go into it. I used to be good at that. Right, on. No, it's doing nothing. Let's just double check we're getting the four and a half volts on there. I mean, the battery contacts are lovely and clean, so I'm going to assume we are. Multimeter in voltage DC. Yeah, 4.8 volts. Right, we're going to have to open this up. I'll do the same as I did last time. Got big mental, can you put a larger hand? 
Can't remember what was wrong with the last one. I think it was just the port on it, wasn't it? Obviously, this one doesn't have a port. Oh, we've got no loose wires. Just put the batteries back in there. Just make sure we're getting the voltage at the back of the battery compartment. Yep, 4.78 volts. And then that goes off to here. Yep, so it's getting to the board. Oh dear. Right, what's going to be the problem with this then? Let's going to have to take this board out, I think. I mean, the soldering doesn't look great on this this ribbon cable here, but that's just for the controls, I think. In fact, the soldering doesn't look great everywhere on this board. Ah, you know what I didn't check? I didn't check the switch, did I? Let's put the multimeter in continuity. I think the switch is okay. I think we're going to have to take this board completely out and get it under the microscope. Right, well, I mean, the soldering there is terrible, isn't it? Kind of state of it. But, I, I mean, I don't know if that's the problem, because, like I say, I think that's just for the controls. Well, I hope it's not something under that blob chip. Unfortunately, there isn't a great deal on this board. Well, let's see if we've got any shorts. A little terminal in continuity. Right, so the power comes in here, and then this positive one here connects to here, and this is where the switch is. So when the switch is on, it passes it from there to there. I can't really see where that goes after that. So I'm just going to wick this solder away here and just see what's underneath. Oh, that didn't help. I still can't see where it goes. Does it go through the board? Comes here, it goes round there. Down there, round here, up here, and then to that little pad there. But then where does it go? Does it? Why is this so difficult to read? Oh, well, that can't be right because that's not coming up. So there, round there, round there. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so it goes to there. But then it seems to stop. So where? What's on the other side of that? Mm, nothing. Right, let's follow it the other way. So it goes from there into this, whatever this is. Right, so we've presumably got four and a half volts going into this. Let's see if we get anything coming out of it. I'm going to put... Well, the first thing I'm going to do is bridge these two together. <laughs> Why are they not bridging together? Now that'll do. It doesn't have to look good. Right, and I'm going to get my bench power supply 4.5 volts and let's see if we can follow the voltage round. Okay, voltage is on. Oh. That screen is doing something now. I can see the backlight. Let me turn these lights off. There you go. I mean, I don't know whether it was doing that before. It possibly was, but I just couldn't see it. It's drawing 0.049 amps. Ah, right this time it hasn't come on. No, I can't replicate that now. How weird. Well, even though it was on, it still wasn't working, was it? There was no, there was nothing on the display. It was just the backlight. All right, well, let's see if we can follow the voltage. All right, so we've got four and a half volts there. We've got four and a half volts there. We should have four and a half volts here, which we do. Do we get anything coming out of this? 3.3. There's nothing there, but that's 3.3, which is probably right. And then that goes to there. 
then it goes to the other side of this capacitor, 3.3, and then it goes through that via slash via. Uh, I think this is going to be the blob chip, especially if we've got voltage on that voltage regulator. There was another one somewhere. Right, well, I don't think that's right. There should be something coming out of this, surely. One of those legs is probably ground. So that's ground. So we should have voltage coming out here, should we not? Voltage DC. Yeah, we've got nothing. Got nothing coming out of that. Is that the problem? J3Y. I mean, I've worked on loads of things where little transistory things like that have failed. J3Y does ring a bell. Hmm. Right, I've just tried it again and the backlight's come on again. So let's now see if there's voltage coming out of that. Yeah, 0 0.7. Right, so we got nothing before. Now we're getting 0 0.7, which has turned the backlight on. It's still not enough, is it? It's not going to be enough to power this thing. I think it's that. I'm going to look back through my old videos because I'm sure I've had one of those and I replaced it with something else unless I bought that one. But I will check and I'll come back to this. I think it's this. I think it's the Y1. So I'm going to try that because it's an 8050. The base collector and emitter are the same, I think. What the hell? Let's do it. Here it is, our old friend Y1. Get over there. I'm not going to put it fully back together because I'm not convinced that that's the problem. All right, I'm going to switch the bench power supply on now. I'm going to keep the microscope focused on that in case it explodes. It's not exploded. Let's see if we've got any voltage coming out of it now. Well, it's the same as before, though. It's 0.6. Right. Oh, well, we've got the uh, backlight on again. Still nothing on the screen. So it's still doing the same thing. Right, in case it's the screen that's at fault, I'm going to put the speaker back on. And then if I can get the backlight to come on, if there's a sound as well, then that would suggest it is the screen. Right, that's the speaker just tacked on. Right, here we go. There we go. What on earth? What on earth? All they did was put the speaker back on. And that might just be a fluke. Let's turn it off and back on again. Okay. One more time. What's going on? I hate things like this. Where I don't I don't actually know what I've done. Surely it doesn't need the speaker on to work? Does it? Just one more time. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna put that back together. I won't bore you with that. As usual, I'll just bore myself with it. Thank you. Right, so it's gone back together nicely. I managed to get the stickers back on. Doesn't look as good, I don't think, as the other one. You can sort of see the line, but quite happy with that. And believe it or not, it works. There we go. Volume. It does appear to just be sport. Oh no, sports. Shooting puzzle arcade. Oh, shut up. 
Right, okay, this is not the same as the other one that I had. The other one had proper games on. This doesn't appear to. Ooh. What's this? Oh, wow. What on earth is happening? I don't understand. Haven't I... Am I just not going around in circles here? What's going on? Now that is a stupid... game. A little bit of Monica in my life A little bit of Erica by my side A little bit of Rita's all I need A little bit of Tina's what I see A little bit of Sandra in the sun A little bit of Mary all night long A little bit of Jessica here I am